The Crow motto is that others may live. Combat Rescue Officer is going to be one of the Special Warfare career fields, and with that, it has an emphasis on planning and executing global personal recovery operations. It's going to work with pararescue men and SEER specialists to execute those operations. We have a variety of applicants that they know a little bit about the Special Warfare community and really the Crow community, and they just kind of want to see if this is what they want to do with their professional career in the military. So it's just kind of an initial entry for them to come into the military and see if this is what they want to do. And then the other part of it is from a training perspective that we here at the 68th Rescue Squadron, when we put on the Crow Phase 2 screener, we want to make sure that they have kind of a good way forward so then they have a, a better success rate going into the Crow Pipeline. For Special Warfare, we use attributes, and there's eight attributes that we, we utilize and we kind of put those candidates through a multiple of events to then screen those attributes. Those can go from problem solving, communication, teamwork, integrity, and those are really what we kind of just are looking for within the Special Warfare community. So water training, that's going to be really the greatest equalizer that we can put these guys through from more of a stress tolerance and drive perspective. Because there's a lot of times a lot of people can do a lot of things on land, but then once you get underwater, having to hold your breath, what you just want to see as a cadre to see if you have that mental capacity to still get the job done and still complete your mission. For this phase two that we put on, we had 22 candidates show up, 14 made it through the week, and then we selected 12. For individuals that are interested in the Crow community, they can really, they just first need to do their research. If they just go online, talk to somebody that's in the military, hopefully somebody that's in the special warfare community. After that, then they're gonna to talk to the recruiting service and they'll have an emphasis on special warfare and they'll get to get a little bit more information from that recruiting service. And then from there, then they'll talk to the ACC program manager that runs phase two program along with Crow candidates and the Crow positions throughout the community. And then they'll go through the screening process from a phase one and then here for the phase two. And then hopefully if they get selected, then they'll go into the pipeline for Crows.